bowled over by the sight that I see right now. That there are so many people who have come out in the cold and in the dark to express their sadness and shock at the tragic, tragic death of Savita Halapanavar. We hope that for her friends and her family, for the people who loved and the people who knew her, that these sights will show them how sorry we are about what happened and how much we support them at what we can, I don't think any of us can understand what this time must be like for all of those people. But we, as huge as the crowd is today, we are only part of what is happening today. Today we march and today we stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are expressing their grief and expressing their sorrow in Ennis, in Galway, in City West, in Limerick, in San Francisco, in New York, in Brussels, in Letterkenny, in Kilkenny, in Carlow, in Wexford, in towns and cities across the world, across Ireland, across Europe, and the many people who can't make it to demonstrations today, but who are watching us online and who are lighting candles in Savita's memory right now. Great interest in what goes on in 
Britain and not much love is lost between Britain and this country, but to get equality with Britain on this, I think it is ridiculous. However, the time is now. It, looking at this sea of faces, I think it cannot be allowed to go on in this way in Ireland. And the Indian government is asking questions. Indian opposition party have joined in. Women's movement in India are, are doing their own thing. Believe you me, there is a lot of hypocrisy there as well. These same people of the, in the government and opposition <coughs> have been involved in all sorts of attacks on women's rights. But forget about that for today. They are with us on this, demanding change. Change must come. Never, never, never again. Never. <laughs> Thank you. 